we are bagged in finally getting loaded update their information so we can know um I got held up getting loaded really nothing I can do only thing could have changed that if, if I was you know an hour earlier and I could have been in front of that truck that was in front of me but what do you do it sucks um kind of pisses me off because i could have just went home but in turn going home i'm not gonna make any money i'm gonna be sitting there a day and a half 
so can't win them all um the guy did say somebody should be in around 3 3 30. hopefully that's true and i can get unloaded quicker than somebody coming in at six but what do you do it's trucking you just gotta roll with it and can't throw a fit can't yell at them can't you know still gotta act professional that's just just the nature of the beast i'll sit right here on the scale and we'll wait on them to get here in the morning <laughs> here about an hour doing this oh I wish there was a such thing as smell a vision I've been to this place well we've been to this place once before I brought y'all here I loaded I said I never would want to come back because of how tight it is and just the you have right. stinking facility. But here we are again. Oh, this place is tight. got to do this twice empty and loaded those vents they got oils and all kind of stuff in them lovely smells great part of an animal that is not processed at a slaughterhouse or you know like your deer processor places whatever it comes here and gets processed and it falls out of that bin and into my wagon I fell asleep trying to edit video last night so since I got some time, I am going to go back 
and continuing the edit of the video so I can get it out for y'all. Try to remember where I left off at. We'll get it though. where I left off at. Y'all will be checking this out. Was... <clears throat> we loaded. Now we got this nice little coating on the truck. Look at the hood, boy. Ah, oh, yeah. I like the look of uh, blood. Bone meal. Nice little hue. Oh, we're gonna scale out. Hopefully, our weight's good. Oof, that was a hole. When I hit a hole like that, my heart sank. I think my bump was just fishing to go. gentlemen clears the scale I'm gonna pull up behind him though scale well I had to just one shot this thing from the road
stop and get us some fuel at the QT. They were cheaper, so. I'll stop here. 359. Get that old bush water. Can't go nowhere without it. Quick little walk around. I did that coming in here because then people don't know how to design truck stops and you want to put tight curbs. Sometimes you may have to put in a little more than half. But like I say, if it pays a thousand, I don't put the whole thousand in the tank because you're just putting it, I mean, putting it in. And then what's to say you break down and you got all that money and fuel in the tank or, you know, bar nothing happens that's just my philosophy that's just how i kind of do things me being an owner operator kind of like my dad taught me that and i just incorporated it into how i run now all right let's uh let's go get off your receipt
love those quick unloads. That guy wasn't lying when he said he had most of my load in the back. That front offer didn't all have anything in it. Uh, let's go get scaled out. And we got a decision. We got a call to make a decision. To see which way we're going to go. It'll make it for this and roll downhill and build this to a three touchdown margin before halftime. Yeah. Could be. I had to tell the line to Madarius Henderson. 